What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally talking about my skincare routine. This has been a very long process to try to get to these core items I have now that I use every day and night. And I have been changing a few things out so I don't actually have an eye cream that I have in this routine because I recently switched eye creams and I'm still trying to figure out if that one works, so I didn't want to bring it up yet, but I do use an eye cream. I just, I'm still trying one out, and don't mind this hair. I know it's looking a little gross, but I'm experimenting, so don't mind that. A little bit about my skincare background. I am a combination, but I think I'm more towards the dry side. I have crazy, unbelievable dry under eyes. It is like, a really big thing and I'm really dry like around the outside and then I get oily like right here on my cheeks on my nose and a little bit on my forehead this is my skin I just did my skincare routine so that's why I'm looking kind of oily and not makeup Anyways, in a Korean skincare routine you'd start with a double cleanse so I still incorporate that in my routine whether or not it's American or Korean um, I just found that I feel a lot better about it and I feel like my skin really likes it um, Because I know that I'm taking my makeup off and then cleansing my skin rather than just doing it in one step So uh, I've been I have tried The Clinique take off the day cleansing balm. I've tried the pharmacy green clean cleansing balm I just had the E Nature Moringa cleansing balm from Soko Glam and now I am on to the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm. I think this one out of the four is my favorite just because one, the packaging is so much easier. I don't know, for jars for me is just kind of like a, takes a lot of time, you gotta scoop it out, put it on your hand, close the jar, put it back. It's just a lot of work, whereas this, I can just open it, squeeze it out, rub it all in. I think this is probably my favorite one out of the four. And I just really like this formula, I guess. It's really just simple. I know Dermalogica is a very dermatologist type brand, so all their products are really good. And I do actually have another Dermalogica item that I've been using. Um, this one doesn't give me the sting because I do use it to remove my eye makeup and it doesn't, has never stung my eyes. It's really, it doesn't have any scent or anything. It's just a simple cleansing balm, which I really like about it. It keeps me really hydrated after I use it and I don't know, I've just been really loving this. I feel like it was kind of expensive for the size you get. And I feel like I should be getting a little bit more, but I mean, it's been lasting me pretty long. I've only used about like this much of it. Um, I was using it both morning and night, but I've been switching to just nighttime for the double cleanse and just using a cleanser in the morning, even though I do have a lot of stuff on my skin when I wake up and I do want to take it all off. I just, this is so expensive, I don't want to use all of it up, so I've been only using this at night, but I will use a pretty decent size amount. I know you're supposed to only use like a pea size, but I use like three pea sizes because I just want to make sure it's all off. But this is a really great cleansing balm if you're looking for one. Not the most cheapest one on the market, but it's very effective and I do enjoy it. So the next part of the Dumble Cleanse is the actual water-based cleanser. So I have been really loving the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser from Crave Beauty. It's This is a, I don't know if it's, she calls it a skincare line, but it's a line that a YouTuber made. I think her name is Leah Yu. And she created this and another product that I actually do use as well. Oh, another, I'm like halfway through the bottle. So I use this morning and night. It has, it says it's a barrier friendly antioxidant cleanser. It has matcha, hemp seeds, oats, almonds, vitamin B, and sodium PCA. This is an amazing cleanser. It has a really weird jelly consistency. And at first, when I first started using it, I thought the smell was really weird. It was kind of earthy, but now I don't even smell it. So it's good for morning and night, which I do use. And I really have been loving this. I've noticed when I started using it, I was like, oh, I didn't really think anything of it. And I actually bought these on a whim just because I saw someone else talking about it. So I was like, oh, I want those too. So I bought it. And I was like, wow, I didn't really, I didn't even need that. I don't know why I bought that. And I started using it and I was like, oh, okay, it's a nice jelly cleanser, that's nice. I went back to another cleanser and I was like, wow, that like really stripped my skin. Like my skin felt like squeaky clean. 
and I realized how hydrating this was after switching back to a different one. I have not put it back since. I love this cleanser and I will probably buy a new one when this one is up. It's just been really gentle on my skin and I feel like my skin has been really loving it. So I will, like I said, use this morning and night. And yeah, I don't know. It's just like the bottle says, it's so hydrating and I never felt like my skin ever was stripped. And I felt like these two together, the cleansing balm and this hydrating cleanser worked really well for my skin and it just kept my skin really soft and clean and hydrated. So these are really good for my skin. And I would suggest this cleanser for sure. So for a physical exfoliant, I have been loving the Skin Food Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. It is just this jar of basically sugar. I think you could just make this at home. But I really like it. It is so gentle. I don't really typically use it as a mask, just an exfoliant. But if I'm doing my skincare routine, I'll put this on and then I'll wash it off in the shower. Because I usually shower at night, so I'll do this at night and then I will jump in the shower and wash it off. But I have been really loving that it gets my skin so soft and it's just so gentle and my skin really loves it. But for days when I am extra clogged in my pore region and my forehead and my chin, I will grab for a chemical exfoliant. So chemical exfoliant is just going to seep down into your pores and get all that junk out, whereas the physical exfoliant is more of like a surface level. For my chemical exfoliant, I have been really loving the Kayla Luya, I don't know, it's a skin resurfacing exfoliator with AHA from Crave Beauty. This is the other product that Leah Yu created in her skincare line. So she has the hydrating cleanser and a chemical exfoliant. So I have been using both. I won't use this every day. And she even said not to use it every day. It's like a two to three times a week. So on days where I don't want to use my physical exfoliant, I will switch for the chemical one and just put it on the cotton swab or a cotton pad and just wipe it all over my face. And this does have a little bit of a tingle, but it does, it does keep my skin really clear. It has kale, spinach, parsley, aloe, glycolic acid, which is an AHA, hyaluronic acid, and B5. And this is typically you only use it at night just because it is an AHA and it is going to make your skin really sensitive to the sun. So you use it at night and then make sure you put sunscreen on in the morning. But I don't really think it has a scent. It kind of has a light green scent if you will. But I really like this chemical exfoliator. It's been one of my favorites. I haven't used too much of it just because I don't want to overdo. And I've been really using my physical more. But for my forehead and chin, this has been a lifesaver. And I've been really liking this brand, her brand as a whole. I mean, she only has the two products, but I've been obsessed with both of them and they are staples in my skincare routine. So I would definitely recommend checking out her website or these products. I think it's just called cravebeauty.com, but I love both of these. So after exfoliating, I will go in with toner and the one that I have been obsessed with and am almost out of, as you can see, I am almost to the bottom, is the Sun and Park Beauty Water. This is a very gentle exfoliating toner. It has a kind of floral scent or a citrusy floral scent and it is just perfect for morning and nighttime. It gets out all the dirt that I missed and it's just a really solid toner. I am obsessed with this and I know it's a huge like cult classic on Soko Glam and it won a few awards. It's just a really, and they sell it in Sephora. I think I actually bought it in Sephora now. It's a really great toner if you're looking for something that's going to be gentle but you know is going to be effective for your skin. I would definitely check this out. It's lasted me so long. I've had this for a long time and I've I mean, I still have some and I actually have a little travel size too that I bring with me. So this has just been a huge staple in my skincare routine. Like I said, I will do this morning and night and I don't feel like it's too exfoliating that I can't use it in the, in the morning as well. It's so gentle and I feel like my skin has really loved it and I will probably be buying another bottle once I finish this one because this is a really good toner and I'm obsessed. Obsessed. This is a recent kind of step in my skincare routine. I want to say I've been doing it for maybe like two weeks or so. 
maybe a little bit longer but i have added oils into my skincare routine just because I've heard so much good things about it and I felt like my skin maybe could use that. I know that I am kind of oily in my T-zone, but my skin has really been loving it. I haven't broken out from it. I haven't gotten any new pimples besides the ones that I have right now. So first off, I actually bought the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir a while ago actually because everyone was talking about it. Everyone was so obsessed and I wanted to try it out and Everyone said it was a really great primer, so I was like, okay, I'll try it as a primer. And I did, and I hated it. It broke up my makeup, and I was using a kind of water-based foundation, so shame on me for trying that, but I hated it. I did not like it. I thought it made me look ridiculous. And so I put it down forever, didn't touch it again. And then I got into, I started researching oils and which one would be best for me, and I wanted to try the rose hip seed oil from the ordinary just because everyone was raving about it and it was out of stock everywhere i couldn't find it and it finally got in stock on sephora and i immediately bought it put it in my cart bought it and i started using it and i really fell in love with it i felt like it helped my skin texture a lot my skin's been a lot softer and it has it does help with like healing your skin barrier or anything that you have going on. So I feel like it has really helped. It has a very strong yellow tint, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that. And it does make me pretty yellow <laughs> initially, but I think it does go away and it's totally fine. I started using this and then I realized that the Farsali oil had rosehip seed oil in it. So then I picked this one back up again that was just sitting on my desk and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll try and use them together in skin in my skincare routine rather than in my makeup routine and I fell in love. I actually will layer both of these because this one, they're very different but I feel like they're very the same, if that makes sense. I've actually been layering both of them so I'll put this on one, this one on first and I will put this one on top and mix it all together on my face. This one I'm actually almost out of. I might buy another one, but this one I still have so much of, so I'll probably just keep using this one until I run out. But I have really noticed a difference since I started using oils in my routine with my skin texture. My skin is just a lot more softer, and I feel like it's really been helping when I do kind of pick up my skin. And it's just helped my skin overall with, with a general glow, I feel like, and it does really improve just the look of my skin and I I don't want to say that these are staples yet because I have been kind of testing it out for a few weeks I don't want to say that it's like a holy grail but I really do like what it's been doing for my skin I saw a change instantly and I would definitely suggest trying rose hip seed oil if you're interested in anything like that I trust the ordinary brand I have a lot of other things from the ordinary so I really wanted this one in particular but I know they sell a lot of other oils that are similar you just really have to check the ingredients but I have been obsessed with this and I'm gonna continue to use it and I feel like it's really changed my skin and then the last step is moisturizer obviously or if you're going out in the sun it'd be moisturizer than sunscreen but for now i'm just going to talk about moisturizer and the one i've been using is the dermalogica calm water gel i have been really loving this moisturizer it's the exact same texture as the water cream from tatcha it has a little bit more of a scent i would say it's kind of like a lavendery scent it's from their ultra calming line so i feel like it is for calming redness which i do see a very big difference in my skin after i put it on because when i exfoliate and do all my other skin care steps my skin is a little rosy and i feel like this really evens out my skin tone and i love this for both day and night it keeps me really hydrated and i just love the texture i probably would buy another tube of this after i run out it's just kind of expensive but i do really enjoy this and I only use a really small amount. I'm not gonna squeeze it out just because this was expensive. I definitely do like this. I love Dermalogica and I would love to try more of their products, but for now I'm really obsessed with this and the pre-cleanse balm. I did try the special cleansing gel because I had a little travel size and that was really great too. I love 
gels on my skin. I just really love gels, as you could tell. But this was a really great moisturizer. It's definitely comparable to the Tatcha Water Cream. This one, I would say, does take a little bit longer to soak in into your skin. I do kind of, I'll rub it all around my skin and I will just pat it in until it's all in. Whereas the Tatcha Water Cream, I would move around my skin. It would feel like I just put a dollop of water on my skin and then it would like instantly soak in and it was gone. So this one takes a little bit longer to soak in, but that's not a really big deal for me. I do really like this and I'm going to finish up this bottle and maybe buy another one if I can't find something else that's cheaper. We'll see. So that is all my skincare routine items. But in the morning when I am gonna go outside, I will put on SPF as everyone should every day. My mom always told me to wear sunscreen and I didn't listen to her until recently when everyone was talking about sunscreen and I do have a nice brown sunspot on my cheek. So, sorry mom. But now I am a huge fan of sunscreen and I I wear it every single day. I will wear, I will put on sunscreen and I will also wear a foundation with sunscreen or like a BB cream, CC cream. But I make sure I am sunscreen the F up because I want this skin to look good when I'm 60. The sunscreen that I've been really loving recently is the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. This only has SPF 35, which I'm not super fan of. I'd rather it have more. But I really like this. It is a gel type consistency. It's clear. It has no scent. Oh, it kind of has a slight florally scent. I don't know. But I really love this. I thought at first it was making me kind of oily, but I think it was something else that I was using. So I love this. I will do like three pumps of it and just spread it all around my skin and let it soak in. It's clear. It doesn't leave any white cast. It just soaks right into my skin and I would definitely buy another one of these just because it's so whoa, sorry. it's so convenient it's so compact and I feel like it's really easy to use you just it has a pump so that's great it's just a no fuss sunscreen there's nothing really you could say bad about it it's just great and I love it and I use it every single day when I'm going into the Sun and I not burned so that's great my skin is still normal so i mean it's working and i love it and i love gel consistencies that's it okay so i think that's finally the end of my skincare i will link everything down below if you have any questions let me know these are just the products that i have been really loving i'm not gonna say that they're gonna be life-changing for you as well it really just depends on your skin these are just the products that my skin has been really loving lately and has been keeping my skin relatively clear rather than I mean despite what's going on right now but these have been really working for me if you have any questions leave them down below make sure to like and subscribe and I will definitely be doing a lot more videos I've just been in kind of a slump and I'm back and ready to film and more to come so that was my skincare routine I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time bye